What's going on guys? It's uh, rainy today, but it's actually warm for a first. So uh, I'm going to do a little uh, mower blade maintenance and talk to you guys a little bit about mower blades. We're going to sharpen some up and we're going to show you some different kinds. So uh, it's going to be real exciting, you know, if mower blades can be exciting. So uh, hang on and uh, we'll get fired up and see what we can do. For blade removal, I go with a couple different tools. You can use the battery powered impact wrench or if they're really stuck on hard, I'll go with the uh, big heavy hitting impact wrench there, the plug-in version. And for picking the mower up, I use this thing. This is the Jungle Jim uh, Jungle Jack. But, uh, just uh, folds out like that. It's, pretty simple I mean I'm sure there's better uh, more complex things you can use out there to pick the mower up but I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand while I video it so let me see if I can set the camera somewhere to capture all this glory So there it is, propped up on the jungle rack. Uh, word of caution, be real careful getting under mowers. The thing weighs over a thousand pounds. It'll it'll squash your melon if it falls on you. But uh, anyways, up on the jungle rack. I don't think she's going anywhere. But uh, wet down here, so I get to get wet crawling under this. All right. Well, I got me some pine straw baling on the on it there but uh if you'll notice there's no front baffle in this particular mower this deck is designed to have a tunnel ram system if i can show it from underneath or not um <laughs> it's a funny video but uh right here it's a raised area you can see it in the front and the idea is the deck will load up with grass you get a good medium density turf and it'll it'll fill this deck up with grass and it'll start blowing it out the side. Uh, different decks will have a baffling system across the front and the way that baffle is tuned is going to dictate how that grass gets thrown out. Um, a lot of uh, mowers will advertise different, yeah, not really, there's not really that much of a difference in uh, blade tip speed on commercial mowers this one has a little bit higher blade tip speed than the other bobcat mowers but i think it's just because it's a 72 inch and the blade tips are further out so they're spinning faster but uh you know i'm sure different mower manufacturers have experimented with every blade tip speed going and i think that that uh 18 range is where most of them have settled in to what is optimal but what the deck does is loads up with grass and that grass evacuating the deck it throwing that grass out is what gives you that vacuum to stand the grass up and to give you a clean cut so if you've ever noticed if you're cutting in kind of a sparse spindly grass and it doesn't cut very well it's because you're not loading that deck up to get the vacuum to sling the grass out All right, here we go. We're gonna gonna take this out. And there's one on this. All right, this is the 52 inch quick cat up on the uh, jungle jack. We're gonna go underneath it and uh, change the blades, and I'll show you the mulch. This has a mulching kit, so we'll show you the mulching baffles on it. All right, it's harder to do than I thought, but that's the leading edge of the uh, mulching baffle. And there's the front of your deck. You see on this bobcat, you've got an adjustable lip on the front of it. You can raise this up to uh, accommodate for uh, grasses like Bahia with the long seed head stalk so they don't have to roll under and then pop up as much. They'll be under a, little, a shorter 
leading edge of this deck so it doesn't have it folded over as much so when it comes through it'll hit the blade but this is a mulching kit i'm going to try to see if you can see it but each individual blade is more or less closed off so you're not going to discharge and these are eliminator mulching blades we'll talk more about them when i get them off the thing and we'll go in the shop and and sharpen them and i'll show you some different types of blades all right let's see if we can get these blades off all right now we're gonna take the blades off the walker the walker is a little easier to do because all you got to do is open these two things up take your foot flat on you have a handy dandy handle on the front take it pick the handle up and there's a little locking piece right there locks right up see the walker's only got two blades on it now this walker deck is gonna have to go be repaired here pretty soon you can see i got holes blasted in it but the walker has a right and a left blade the blades are different on each side as you can see they would cross bad but they're they're timed and so these little cups here have a notch in them that you'll see when I take them off. And these are separate from the blades. They just bolt onto it. But that holds it in the right place on the spindle. Um, the idea of the walker is the blades turn in opposite directions and make a nice vacuum. It's got a blower inside of it too that'll, like I said, left and the right blade on the walker. But, I mean, I'm facing it this way. And this is the left, but if I'm on the machine, this is the right. So you always want to go with what the position will be on the machine. But just to make it simple on myself, I'm going to do this. Because I have put them on backwards before. And uh, it doesn't cut, obviously. Because you're turning, you're hitting it with the back of the blade. Anyway, I'm going to take these off. These come off real simple. I'll try to do this one-handed. All right, on the walker, you got flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. This one's kind of figured up, but that's what I'm talking about. The piece that'll that'll hold it uh, from uh, slipping around on the spindle. You can see right there on the spindle, you got a notch, and and this holds it in the notch, so the blade stays in one position on the spindle all right i'll take the other one off and we're going to shop talk about some different blades and do some sharpening all right it's kind of dark in here so i don't know if this is going to show up real good but uh these are some different kind of blades this is a g6 it's uh made by gator it's wore out but you can kind of get the idea it's really wide across here i'll hold it up next to a, a normal gator blade and uh, it's dark on it but it's that much thicker um the gator blades are they call them mulching blades but i kind of call them a hybrid blade the uh whoa, just sound like the idea is uh to me that they, they still make lift with these. The original manufacturers of the Gator, the original Gator blade said that these don't do any cutting. But I, I think theirs might have been set up a little different or something, but uh, I, I do believe that these do shred up some things, but they also will help create that lift in the deck, like we talked about. And when you get material in there, it, it will throw it out. They, they discharge okay. But if you're running a mower with an operator control discharge chute or something in the uh, time of the year you're doing cleanups or maybe even in, this, in some heavy grass that uh, you want to try to chop up any smaller, these might be a good option for you. This is a flat notched blade that's a high lift. High lift means it's got this big paddle on the back that's going to sling that material out of the mower. It's going to act like a... a springboard sort of and throw that material out and that's going to give you your your vacuum and long discharge this is a standard gator blade with an offset by offset you see that curve in it right there 
You can use different things to sharpen. A uh, rotary side grinder works good. Some people can sharpen them on these bench wheels. That seems real slow to me. I have, I have trouble getting that done. Or you can get you a commercial blade grinder. This uh, will spin in different directions, This is which, which is important for the walker blades because you can switch the collection can to the other side. And like I said, the walker's got a left and a right blade. So you got to sharpen one blade on one side and one blade on the other side. But every other lawnmower blade sharpens on this side. Um, the, the blade is the blade. The wheel will come up and down to you use this right here to create your bevel. So if you got it set at the right point, you're going to make the bevel on the blade the same every time. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to give you a shot of this uh, rotary blade grinder in action. It's going to be loud. Let's see if this works. Once I've ran them through that thing, they're they're pretty good and sharp. But I don't know if you can tell by on this, but you get a little bit of you know metal shavings wrapping around and stuff on it. So what I do is I'll just put it on this bench grinder. I'll try to do this one hand. Take that little bit of stuff off. You can do it better when you got both hands. But, Alright, that's what they look like. Alright, now these things are Ginsu sharp right now. If I had a tomato or something, I'd slice it up and show you. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the bevel on it, when I talk about that, that's the angle of this blade, the edge on it right there. So, if you keep a kind of a steep bevel like what they have from the factory when they make them they uh it's a harder edge on it because you can imagine if you I can do it one hand, but if you came back a lot of times this is what happens when you sharpen them with that uh, side grinder that hand grinder you'll have a, a a steeper i mean a shallower bevel this longer but you got a really sharp, sharp, fine point on it. Well, that that sharp, fine edge, the metal's real thin on it, so it's going to wear a lot quicker and be uh, have a tendency to chip. But uh, you keep that steeper factory bevel on them when you sharpen them. And again, when I say the bevel, I'm just talking about the angle on this blade. So kind of a steep bevel will give you a stronger edge on your blade.